William Carlisle Elementary. This is Caitlin, Alexis, and Ben. Broadcasting live at New Carlisle Elementary. Today is Thursday, December 20th, 2012. Today's lunch is chili spaghetti and fruit. Breakfast tomorrow is whole grain breakfast pizza. Happy birthday to Seth H. Today's positive behavior winners are Red, Caitlin G. Orange, Gabby G. Yellow, Darjay B. Green, Logan B. Blue, Sophia W. Purple, Cassie. Black, Abby B. P. Come down to room 307 to get your prize. Now over to Miss Daddy's Flexi Group. Rachel, Addison, Nathan, Kyle, Logan, Tyler, Mahalo, Cameron. It was the night before Christmas by Climate Moore. It was the night before Christmas that all through the house that a creature stared at either of us. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. The folks at St. Nicholas would soon be there. The stockings were hung by the the children all nestled all snug in their beds while visits of sugar pumps danced to their heads. Mama and her first chef and me and my captain settled our brains for a long winter's day. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I came in like a flash and tore open the shutters and drew up the side. The men on the breast in the new fallen snow gave luxury on midday to objects below. When, what to my wondering eyes should be, my miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. The little old driver so literally quick, I knew what it was to say late. More rapid the eagles, his horses they came, and he whistled a child and called them by name. I dashed on out of the answer, and I pranced to the vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Don, on Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, and I dashed away, dashed away, dashed away all. As the dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up on the housetop the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys to St. Nicholas, too. And then in a twinkle I heard on the roof each prancing and pawing of each little hoof. <clears throat> As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. We thought of them fur from head to his foot, clothes were tarnished with asterisk on but a bundle of toys he slapped on his back, he looked like a peddler in the back. His eyes had like twinkles, his dimples, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a chair. His droll little mouth was like tied up like a bow, and, his beard, the beat, and the beat of his chin was by the snow. He held a, the stump of a pipe, he held tight in his teeth. He had a boy face and a little round one head. His small being circled his head like a, a wreath. Uh, a boar face and a little round belly that shook like a oh, jelly. When he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump and a right old jelly elf. I laughed but I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye, a twist of his head, soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. Miss be <laughs> What is your favorite color? Um, well, I like a lot of colors, but I'd have to say green is my favorite color. Oh, I love that color. You too? Okay, good, good. <laughs> what is your favorite subject? My favorite subject is social studies, oddly enough, but I do like to teach reading too. Who is your hero and why? This is a great question, and I've been uh, really thinking about this one. I know a couple weeks ago, Mr. B said that Mrs. Farrell and myself were his heroes, but Mr. B is the true hero <laughs> in this whole situation, which is really great of him to recognize us. A lot of people don't know this, but should ask him about this. Um, a few weeks ago, there was a burning building, and um, he stopped and saved six kittens. Now... <laughs> He's going to say this never happened because he's modest, but I think every child in this building should ask him about it individually. Um, 
he's the hero here, folks. Mr. B. Mr. B. <laughs> Do you have a favorite student? Favorite student? Of course I do. No. Um, that's a hard question because we love all kinds, we love all of our kids. And I have to say this is one of the best classes I've ever had this year. And this includes my math and all my reading classes. We have a great pod. And there's special students all over the school. Um, there's a really nice girl down in Mrs. Rudd's room. She looks just like my niece and I always... Um, talk to her. I think her name is Hannah or something like that. And then over in the other pod, there's like 12 Madisons that are really nice <laughs> too. So I like all those girls too. And boys. So so no favorites, but I like a lot of the kids. That's cool. Thank you, Jane. What's your favorite what, book? Did you, was I supposed to say you? No. Oh. <laughs> What's your favorite book? Oh, my favorite book. This is another hard one. Over the summer, I read a lot of books that I brought in and we're sharing now. Um, I read this Alchemist series that you're reading now, too, and Thomas is reading. It's really good, a lot of fantasy. Um, I love the Divergent series that's out. I'm waiting for the third one. And um, Thomas Erickson um, lent me The False Prince, and it is so good. Everyone should read that book. So, lots of good books. What made you want to be a teacher? Okay. I wasn't going to college to be a teacher. I was doing business and banking, and I got my degree to do that. And then my mom volunteers at Park, volunteered at Park Lane and then worked at Park Lane. And she said, you should come in and work with this teacher. She's really nice, and she could probably use a little help with her class. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to go in there. But I did. I did. And um, she was so enthusiastic about teaching, and she loved the kids. And she was amazing. And I thought... I want to be like her. You know who that teacher was? Mrs. McKasick. Can you believe yes. that? Yeah, Mrs. McKasick. Yes, you say yes. And she was just so wonderful. And um, I love what she did, and I love the kids. And so I changed my degree. That's interesting. How long have you teached? I have taught for 15 years. This is my 15th year. That is crazy. That is crazy, yeah. What's your, favorite, oh, what's your favorite animal? My favorite animal is probably the human child. They're really <laughs> amazing creatures. The way they move down the hall in a majestic manner. <laughs> or sometimes like this. It, no matter what, they're interesting creatures. And I love them. If you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? Well, like Amor said in her earlier interview... Um, we've thought about this a lot. And first of all, a million dollars is really not that much money. I know it seems like a lot, but it's not that much money. Um, first of all, girls trip for all my girls. Woo okay. And then after that, I would pay for Gabby and Jackson's college and get out of debt. So in that order, girls trip, <laughs> college, get out of debt. Do you play video games? You guys know the answer to this question. <laughs> I'm a huge gamer, folks. Oh. Currently, I'm addicted to Luigi's Mansion. Um, oh. I beat it several times. Everybody knows Luigi's Mansion, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so good that I got a phone call last night from my nephew asking for help on Super Mario. I went over, we defeated Bowser, and then had some hot cocoa. Done. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a gamer. <laughs> Any more questions? All right, all right. Thank you for having a special interview with us. It's been my pleasure, gentlemen. Oh, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Now over to Zoe. The volleyball game today is Mrs. Heckman's versus Mrs. Evans' class. The current temperature today is 42 degrees. The high temperature today is 47 degrees. Thank you for joining us for another edition of the Nicolai News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and then become the School Pledge.